Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today as you can see we're doing the gruesome gingerbread man. If you want to see how it look, make sure you stay tuned. To start the one side of our base, we're going in with the baby skin from Maybelline to primer skin and then we're going to use CoverGirl's True Blend Matte Made Foundation and we're going to apply it all over the face with a kabuki brush from Luxie Beauty. Next we're going with Tarte's Shape Tape to conceal any of our imperfections and dark circles and then we're going to set with the Trust Shield Airspun Setting Powder which we have now retired that container because she is done with. But I like to use a Real Techniques little concealer brush. This is actually from their Color Corrector set um, but I like to use this for concealer and then for the bigger spots or if they don't blend enough with this brush I will go back in with my foundation brush to finish doing so. I always like to set my fine line areas with a little sponge with the powder um, just because it seems to set them better than doing a, a big puff or anything like that. It sets them better and they don't crease as much or have overload on any powder or anything like that. Let's take a moment to see the difference with the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. In my natural skin. That foundation which our shape tape does wonders. Do not sleep on CoverGirl. You know it's game time when we pull out the Mayrom body paints. Here we are just going in and mapping out where we're going to split the face for our gingerbread man. I am mapping out where we're going to have this monstrous mouth. It doesn't come out exactly how I mapped it out but that's okay. I am using white body paint but keep in mind you can use a white pencil to do this, it cleans up just as easily, but because I'm using body paint, I'm just going in with this because it was easier for me. But feel free to use a white pencil if you'd rather, or any other products. Here we are just filling in the mouth with some of that red body paint. Nothing fancy about it. I didn't mix any colors with it. Just went with the straight red. Um, but did my best to fill in these lines. I didn't give it a lot of spacing. Which definitely if you're going to recreate this. Make sure you give it more spacing on the mouth than I did. Because it goofed it up as I went. So then my lines weren't as clean. And I had to reshape everything. You will see it as we go. But I had to do a lot of reworking around this mouth area. Here we are just filling in around the eye. I want to look like maybe the eye got punched out and there's a hole in there. Maybe they just put a glob of frosting. I mean it's a gingerbread man so I was trying to think candy and all this other stuff. It was hard as I got going on this. Where do we put candy? How can we add this? Because gingerbread was so dark and I didn't mix it to make it lighter. So I went with it but I liked how it came out. Here we are. Broken eye, punched out eye, frosting eye icing eye, whatever you want to call it. It's missing though. Here 
after you're just adding the brown for the gingerbread color um, as you see the brushes I'm using are not regular brushes a lot of these are royal and lane nickel brushes these aren't makeup brushes either these are regular paint brushes you can use them for body painting they've been amazing with any of the body painting I've been doing you can see them in most of my videos but this is more of a flat top one and it's dense so it's really good when I'm doing bigger flatter areas any of the detailed ones the brushes are a little bit longer more rounded and dense as well so they're pretty flexible for all those little areas but here we are just adding the brown going around all the edges and filling her in no rhyme or reason just brown everywhere end of story Ooh -hoo -hoo. Just filling in the nose with a little yellow. Want it to look more like a gum drop, like the top of one you like stuck on the nose. Here we are, just open up the James Charles Unleash Your Inner Artist palette. We're just doing a few dots to make it look like the gingerbread is laced onto the regular face. And then we ended up doing some shading around some of the eye and around the mouth. Um, but yeah, this is the palette we use with any shading or anything like that. It was very useful. We are just blending them and then we'll do all the lacing with the body paint. Now while we were using the white for the laces, I decided why not go around the eye and the mouth with white because gingerbread have white piping frosting around their legs for stitching, for shirts and all that. And I was like, this would be perfect to help those areas pop the way I want them to. So we went around the edging with white to make them pop and to give you more of the idea and effect of a gingerbread. Ta-da! And here is our finished gingerbread for you guys. I added some Mayron coagulated blood to our mouth and around the eye area. I dolled up the face real quick just so we were a little glimmed up on that side so you can see the difference in the two. Um, I'm not completely satisfied with how the look came out. I do like it, but I think it could be cleaned up a little bit. Um, but I hope you guys liked it, learned something from this. I have to say when we do full face body paints like this, they're a little bit tougher because I'm still learning, but that's part of the process. But Here's a classic character for the 12 days of Christmas. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any tips for me, please feel free to drop them down below for me. I could greatly appreciate it. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. Make sure you subscribe to see any of the other videos that we are doing for the holiday season. I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Love you.